Hello, it's Paul Thompson with Waygate Technologies. We'll be discussing stereo versus real 3D stereo measurement and when a very accurate stereo measurement can be very wrong. In this example, what we're seeing is a traditional stereoscopic or stereo measuring image. Less than half of the imager is generating a view of this area. And the other portion of the imager is generating that same view from a stereoscopic perspective. The big difference with 3D surface scanning is that, in fact, not only do you get measurement at the points where you place the cursor, that measurement data that's underlying that, the structural 3D point cloud fully surface scanned information, can now be viewed in a structural point cloud. So I see my cursors. If I now rotate that and look at it in reference to what is actually being measured, and you see I'm not actually measuring from the shroud up to the tip of the blade, I'm measuring at an angle where two of the cursors are actually on the shroud, but this third one has been placed in a band where there's marginal data. So I can adjust that, and you see that red data, that's that marginalized, unmeasurable data. You can also see the green surface mask. So I have a visual cue, there's also a disconnect there. If I move this cursor, in fact, off of the tip of the blade and get it out here onto the shroud, you can now see my green surface mask. And in fact, you can also see that I'm now measuring from the shroud, very clean image, no noise, and I'm measuring up to the tip of the blade and I'm actually getting a measurement that's 31 thousandths of an inch greater. So this is one of the common mistakes that is made with traditional stereo when all that you have to view is simply two white light images. 